this month's master's flight is one that I'm really excited about. And it's also a really cool lesson about sugar in wine and how it affects the way that these wines taste. So to start out with, I have a Riesling. This is actually our wine of the month. It's a German Riesling called Trocken Riesling. Now Trocken is the German word for dry. And this is a collaboration that we've done with Dr. Lozen, a very famous winemaker in the Mosel River region of Germany. Now I'm sure you're thinking it's a lesson about sweetness. This is a German wine. This will be the sweet one. It's not. So Trocken Riesling is pretty awesome stuff. That wine is completely dry. It is so delicious. It's just got this incredible intense acidity, super zippy. I mean, that's some thrilling stuff. Now compare that to our regular Riesling, which is also really quite delicious. Now this comes from Washington State and that's much fruitier. I wouldn't call that a sweet wine, but it's lightly fruity, sort of like biting into a fresh Granny Smith apple or a peach. It's really, really juicy, pretty and soft. These two wines are very different and they go with very different kinds of food, but they're really delicious. And what I love is, is showing these side by side and seeing how incredibly versatile Riesling can be. Now these two Rieslings are both really delicious and totally different in style. Why is one sweet and why is one dry? It has to do with the winemaking. With the dry one, we've allowed this to ferment all the way to dry. So all of the sugar has been converted into alcohol. In the case of our regular Riesling, we've actually stopped the fermentation a little bit early. We've gotten it cold, which puts the yeast to sleep and allows the natural sweetness of those grapes to shine through while keeping the alcohol a little bit lower. Now the next wine, um, probably the one I'm most excited about, of course, it's Camille Proud. It is actually available now in the restaurants. This is my second wine in the Camille series, and this is a really fun wine. It's coming from both Napa and Sonoma. It's a blend of Merlot and Cabernet Franc and Malbec. Um, I'm really proud of this wine, naturally. This is a wine that is uh, really big and rich and bold in style and it's just drinking so well right now. It's all from the 2017 vintage, and there's a ton of really dark fruit. Like if you compare this to the Camille Brave, this is much more, more dark. Um, it has a lot of like blackberry, black cherry flavors, but also these really beautiful herbal tones like bay leaf and sage. And, uh, and then there's a really nice violet clove finish that you get on the very end. Um, it's much grippier with the, the tannins. It's got this incredible velvety uh, texture to it that you get from those tannins. It's really quite a delicious wine. I cannot wait for you all to try it. Now that's a dry wine and Next to that, we have our Night Jar, which is our port style wine. Now, this wine is sweet because we haven't actually finished fermenting it. What we've done is allowed it to just partially ferment and then we add a little bit of brandy to it, which stops the fermentation, brings the alcohol content up, leaving this wine with a nice natural sweetness that's found in those fresh grapes, uh, but with the hardiness of a much bigger wine. Mmm. And you taste that, it's so good. It's really intense and powerful. It's got some nice sweetness to it. Really rich, really, really delicious. So this month, enjoy the master's flight and I look forward to finding out what your sweet spot is. Cheers.